Hello, hello, hello. Right, another video. So, um, this is a really quick one. This is just how to go from a cube to um, a ball, but using quads. Um, rather than, let's go over to... Uh, 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 go to items. Go to model. Uh, basic. I'm just going to add... Actually, you know what? We can be in quad view, can't we? Um, you can go and add a box. So if you're going to hold down the shift key, add a new one. I should have done that one. I made a ball. There we go. So currently, um, I'll select this guy and hit the W key. Drag it forward. Currently, when you make a ball, what happens, um, if you look at the top of it, you, um, you get this spikiness around the top. So what we want to do is have a ball that looks like that. So there's no spike and it's all made of quads. So let's go and do that. So um, this guy, I've got him selected. Let's go and hide him for a minute. So how do we do that then? Well, let's unhide our cube. So I've got a cube here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go into polygons, select the top polygon. Uh, right and bracket key will select all polygons. If you all also you can find that under select and select connected. So it's a right hand bracket key like that click on that, that selects all the polygons then if you go into the mesh edit tab you'll see a thing called subdivide so we'll see uh, we're going to do S SDS subdivide click so that gets us to this here that vote I'm going to go and do that again SDS subdivide again done it again let's um, go back to item mode yeah and then drop the tool to see what we've got and all we're going to do now we're going to add a subdivisional surface on it um, and all we need to do to do that is press the tab key so uh, if you're inside to do you actually need to go and add a modifier called a turbo smooth but um, inside lightwave or inside uh, modo you just select the object hit the tab key and that now does a subdivisional um, subdivides it and currently it's on subdivision level 2 so we can make that six for instance and then if I go and select something else you'll see the amount of polygons that you're making it with that because um, I haven't got smooth on so it helps you see how many actual polygons you're making and that's, that's subdivided uh, on this one subdivided six and there you go so it's just a short video how to make a ball that does not have any top spikiness like that yeah mode of quads so pretty simple and uh, there you go quick one um, yeah basically what we're doing here is um, I'm moving some of my workflow that are using Lightwave to uh, do that um, oh we have a quick shortcut um, for subdivide um, if I want to go and subdivide something if I go and select this guy so I've got him selected and if I go shift D if I go shift D uh, currently it's going to go and duplicate it not subdivide it because I'm in an item mode so some shortcuts may do different things in different modes so shift D is duplicate but if you're in polygon mode and I select all the polygons here if I shift D that now it brings up my subdivide polygons which is this guy in here um, and again we're going to use that guy there and all we're going to do is shift D again and that guy there and we're all good to go then we can uh, tab it and then drop the tool and we're all groovy simple as that and that is uh, that's that nice and round isn't it there you go uh, yeah there you go then so blah 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 next video um, see what else we can do eh? see you in a bit you can find the stop button and we'll stop see you later on